of 19 on your Friday Storm Team 4 now with meteorologist Brendan Johnson with a check on our weather forecast. Brendan, you've been tracking the rain moving through. Yeah, and sometimes uh, this uh, rain coming down uh, pretty heavy, uh, Simone. Some places already picking up uh, just about a half of an inch of rain uh, down to our south and west. Uh, heavy downpour led to close to an inch of rain in Rock County. Right now, scattered showers and even a few thunderstorms continue across the region. Here's that swath of rain that really has fallen in the last couple of hours here. A very, very narrow radar estimated 1.2 two inches of rain there in northern Milwaukee County. I think we got a pretty good downpour there, but back down towards Janesville again, anywhere between half of an inch to an inch of rain falling in a very short amount of time. This all because of a frontal boundary, which is slowly making its way in our direction. Scattered showers and thunderstorms will continue along it this evening into the overnight hours. Now, as you're noticing, most of this is west of Milwaukee, but we are still having a few scattered showers run through much of southeast Wisconsin. We're going to hold on to the chance for that here through this evening and into the overnight. It won't be in until early tomorrow morning that the bulk of that rain starts to make its way through the region as low pressure kicks up from the south. And it's this little very weak return here that I'd be concerned for any rotation because you've got this entire low pressure system spinning here and this is trying to move due east. We'll be watching that very closely tomorrow morning. If you remember just a couple weeks back where we had a lot of changing wind direction and speed in showers, we could be running into a couple of isolated spin ups uh, as we roll into our Saturday morning. More on that here in just a bit. So for the rest of our Friday afternoon, scattered showers, a few isolated thunderstorms will continue overnight. That rain will keep going. And as we emerge into our Saturday morning, I think the rain will really scatter out. But again, we're going to have to watch that little line that moves through mid to late morning. I think the threat will be over by midday uh, and then we kind of deal with the temperature change and the wind. Here's a current look at storm four max radar right now. We've got that uh, lightning, the lightning tracks right now through uh, Jefferson County. This is probably our next big cluster here. It's moving at about 60 miles an hour. So over the next 40 minutes, Heartland to Waukesha, even Menominee Falls going to be catching in on some of this heavy rain. Now notice that future forecast keeps a lot of this to the north and west, but as we roll into the evening, more of this will encroach on southeast Wisconsin. We'll have periods of moderate to heavy rain. Some points you won't have any rain at all. All, and this will continue into the overnight with additional showers and a few rumbles of thunder. Here comes that line at about 10 o'clock. It's over by Madison by let's say 11, 1130. It's getting awfully close to Milwaukee. This is where we'll be watching for a little bit of some rotation. Again, it's maybe about a 5% chance that something is able to come together. I think more of us probably won't have to worry about it. All right. The Nat or Storm Prediction Center does have a level one severe weather risk out uh, for areas of southeast Wisconsin, especially south of Milwaukee, as we head into our Saturday morning. In terms of the rainfall amounts, one to three inches. Again, more of that rain back off to the west. The winds also picking up as soon as this rain gives way on Saturday. The afternoon, we could have some gusts upwards of 50 miles per hour. That's why National Weather Service has that wind advisory out for tomorrow. And in terms of the rainfall, just to give you a broad brush here, one to two inches for Milwaukee areas west could see some higher amounts back towards central Wisconsin. Tonight, though, 54 degrees, rain, isolated thunderstorms. It will be awfully windy. Temperatures in the upper 60s falling back to 63 on our Saturday. As a matter of fact, those numbers will be falling throughout the day. We'll probably be in the mid 50s by 3 or 4 o'clock in the afternoon. We'll recover a little bit there on Sunday, also breezy, but uh, at least the sunshine is back mid to upper 50s early next week. So no 20s, no 30s, yeah. no very breezy conditions. And of course, we'll be watching all of this here over the next 24 hours. So keep it tuned here. We'll keep you up to date. And what a difference 24 hours makes because when we were here oh, yeah. yesterday, nice <laughs> and 70 degrees. Now it looks like great. a whole nother, you know, that's fall in Wisconsin. For you. <laughs> there we go. Thank you, Brendan. <laughs> you bet.